Hey guys! We're here on Monday to do one of our famous double headers starting off with a Patrono request from this Patrono right here. I us to check out a band called Fim Fimbletier. Fimbletier. I'm gonna go with that. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name Don't. of the song. I'm just, I'm, I'm, no. You guys, not you guys, you guys can read video. it. Yeah. yeah, you guys can read it. Anyways, I was curious about the band uh, to see where they were from and what kind of sound. Because from the name of the song and the name of the band, I was like, okay, it's definitely not technical death metal. It's definitely not deathcore. Not power metal. Not metalcore either. So in my mind, there was a few a few options available, but I kind of wanted to make sure I knew what they were all about and where they were from. They're you don't from get very surprised. Exactly, they're from Sweden and they're a black metal Viking metal band. Okay. So, so at least it gives you a Something ballpark heard, of an idea. Yeah, it's a it's not a genre that I'm you know unfamiliar with. Unfamiliar with. Yeah. No, these are familiar territories. All right. So are you ready to check this out? Yeah. All right. Let's do it.
I'm gonna let it play out. I like this. Was nice at the end all right so what did you think about this band this song this video i like the 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 symphony uh, not the symphony but you know the um, orchestrations on the track yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, the end was really nice there um but i'm talking like throughout the whole song there was those parts where you felt like a like uh the ch kind of ch i don't know if it was cellos but it was like one of those stringed one uh, yeah yeah that came through and it sounded really really nice i mean it, it up it uplifted the track and that's what I expected. Give it more volume. Yeah, and that Made it sound more epic. But that or orchestra sound uh, is what I expect from a band like this, you know, because darkened Viking, you know, metal like this. Black metal. Yeah, you need you need that. I mean, that I think they're perfect combination, like a, a Viking black metal band with some orchestra in it to kind of lighten up. Um, a little bit in such a dark uh, yeah like up know, the edges and, and it makes the song feel a little bit more opus makes it, it feel makes a little it, bit yeah, bigger it makes it feel like the song is levitating a bit yeah and, and it's it's a really nice shining light on the song so I think it, it goes perfect together and that's what you need on a song like this so uh, right away when I heard that I'm like I'm in my zone here I'm in my comfort zone because this is you know this is just like something that would be on my playlist before I talk about the song uh, I want to say that the lead singer's t-shirt looks like some of the underwears that I have. Like, very holy. Yeah, yeah. It's my lucky ones. I don't want to get rid of them. The lucky underwear. I know, like, pretty much it's... One of these days is going to be just a string around my waist, and there's going to be pretty much nothing it's else like a, left. It's like a belt. Yeah, it's going to be just like a belt. But uh, that shirt kind of reminded me of some of my quackish. Some of the other shirts, too. Yeah, but his was a little bit extra holy. His was like... They put, sh like, cigarette burn. Yeah, his... He, he, he went through... He's been through... Uh, the ringer with it. Let's yeah, just put it that way. And then he had the dirt on his face like the guys from 1914. Yeah, the beard too, eh? A little the, bit of the, the hairstyle too. Yeah, the hairstyle the, too. He really reminded me of the... Yeah, <laughs> that was a little bit... I thought exactly the same thing. It reminded me a little bit of 1914. Uh, now, as far as the song is concerned, uh, a couple of things I want to mention. I, I really enjoyed, on the guitar side, I wanted the song to be a little bit darker than what it gave me. And at the same time, I wanted the song to be more melodic than what it gave me. So I like it, but I wanted it to go more in those two different directions. Uh, when the song got more melodic, which after that pause there, you know, when, when there's that yeah, pause yeah. there in the song and then right after, it gets really melodic, the guitars get really melodic. I like that because that melody has some darkness in it. So you don't have to make a song that, if you want to create a song that's dark, you don't have to just make it like somber, almost like uh, removed from light itself. You can still, have some light in it, but allow the light to actually shine the darkness of the song. And I felt like that melody really shined that darkness of the song. There are a few moments in the first half of the track, if you're going to break the song into two halves, with that pause being the break, if you're going to break the song into two halves, in the first half, there's some parts where it gets really technical, where, where like he's finger tapping and whatever. Those moments I, I really enjoyed. The, it happened twice. Uh, I, I felt like it added something to the song. It, it, it broke the routine of the track. I really liked it. I wanted more of those two elements throughout. Uh, maybe not necessarily in the forefront, but more the same way the symphonic elements were working or the orchestrations were working as a layer in the track. I'd have liked to hear a little bit more of that melody kind of weave in, not have like a specific spot where you're going to get it, but kind of weave in so there's certain parts where it drops into the background and the song becomes, and this is where it comes the other part that I was saying, I wanted it a little bit darker. Uh, I wanted that part to move into the background and have more of a traditional black metal riff where it brings the darkness with a more driving force and then allow that melody to weave back again into the front, covering that darkness of that more black metal riff and becoming more melodic, almost becoming like a melodic black metal song at that point, allowing the riff, the, the melodic riff to kind of weave in and always be there but sometimes you, you can barely hear it and then it pops into the forefront and then goes back in again. I feel like it would make the song feel more dynamic. The way the song sits right now for me is very static. There's not a lot of movement in the track. I enjoyed it, but it didn't feel like it had the necessary movement. That pause helped the song, believe it or not. I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that the song is very static and at the same time I'm saying that a pause, which makes the song even more static, is actually what gives it life. But it is what gives it life because it reboots the track and then that melodic riff that starts off right after is absolutely phenomenal. It's aces. I love it. Um, what do you think about that before I go into my next point, which is the vocals? No, I, I agree with you. Are oh, you uh, on board? I, I, I totally agree with you. Um, 
that stop that stop is where it gives the the st- saves the song in my opinion. It does save the song because it, it if it, it, if that pause is not there and the song continues the same pad the same pattern as it had from the beginning, it would be unbearable towards the end. Yeah, it's it would, too it, much. It, of it would also be hard to kind of like gel it together without that pause. It would be hard to gel both sides of the track without that pause in the middle. I think you need that. Yeah. There's no other way you can really do it without it sounding kind of choppy going from one to the other. No, I agree. You know? I agree, I agree. Um, I, I was going to go into the vocals next because you got the drummer. I, I was also going to go into the vocals too. The what, vo- what do you think about the drummer? Before we talk about the main vocalist, but what did you think about the I drummer? Liked, I liked it, but it felt like you know he needed to put more... Of himself behind it, I feel like some sometimes you know it would come it would come to him, and some of the words would feel like you know he has his chest behind it, but some of them, you know, it felt didn't feel of, personal. It didn't feel personal. You have to, especially you have to own it. You have to own it, man. And you're on the drums. You have to you have to fucking own it. Um, but the, oh, the other so the lead sing, the lead singer, perfect vocals. Oh, for, I love for it for a, a track like this. Oh, I love it. I perfect, love it. Perfect vocals. The right vocals. raspiness, the right tone, the right delivery, the right it's anger. It's perfect. Perfect. Uh, there's nothing for me to say there. I absolutely loved it. I thought the drummer's vocals were interesting because they, they work almost like a narrator. In they terms work of like a narrator and they also work as like a cleaner vocals. Cleaner vocals, but but uh, built in as a narrator style that comes in and it's telling you a, a, a portion of the story almost. Uh, That's why I, you need to have your chest behind that. Yeah, I think you need to have a little bit more... more um, uh, yeah, you, you need to feel it a little bit more. Not just deliver it, but feel, feel what, what you're, you're delivering. Yeah, yeah, feel what you're delivering because it didn't. It uh, more maybe in the first one, believe it or not, I thought in the first one I felt that it wasn't as good as the second one. I felt the second one there was a little bit more in it, but both of them, I don't know. I, I would have liked it to just have it once, actually. Yeah, like, maybe you're, over, you're you're not overdoing it, but if you do it once with the full you know, full behind it. Then it gives it more. Okay, of... so this is what I'm gonna say. Remove. The, uh, I I don't mind necessarily uh, going to a little bit of a softer approach if you want to create a, a ebb and flow vocally on the song. I, I don't mind that, but I think if you're gonna go with that narrator style, like almost monotone style of just delivering it, it, it would work really well if you extend that pause, make it more of an atmospheric pause, and have the vocals in that pause. So the song drops. You have this more atmospheric uh, uh, sound. You have that that more monotone delivery vocal style narrator. And that's, in, all, that's all where it is. And that's all. It's just in that piece, and then it goes into the melodic side of the track. I think that would make the song feel a little bit more connected overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because I thought every time it went to it went into his vocals, while I understood the approach, it kind of took a little bit of the energy off the song. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's all. Uh, so I think having it just once instead of twice. And having it in that in that, in that pause song there. in that bridge there, I, I think would make the bridge even more impactful. Make it feel a little. Let that bridge sound a little bit more somber, almost like there's a fog. You know, some, sometimes in horror movies when you hear like a bell ring and, and it's a foggy street. Like if you're watching like um, uh, uh what's the name? Uh, the guy who killed the people in uh, England, uh, the, the killed the prostitutes. Uh, Jack the oh, Ripper. Jack the Ripper. Like if you're watching a Jack the Ripper uh, movie or whatever. And you can see the streets. You can only see the silhouette of the streets because it's really foggy. And somebody's uh, ringing a bell or whatever. It has that kind of undertone there with the narrator on, on on that piece there. I think it would work really well. It would work really well. Having said all of that, I still enjoy the track. Yeah, I still really enjoy the track. It was a fun. Was a good song, uh, good sound, and uh, new band that we've discovered on the channel. You know, never heard of these guys before. So that's always that. It's always a good thing. Anything else you want to add before we go? No, oh, I think we've. I think we covered it all. We covered everything. Yeah. And I also like the simplicity of the video, by the way. Yeah, it's just them. Just them in in a room playing. That's all I want. Honestly, shirts and all. Yeah, yeah, with the shirts, like fuck it, like let's just go. Like it's 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 laundry day. Let's fucking go. So I like that. I like that approach. All right, guys. On that note, don't go anywhere because there's gonna be another video coming right after this one. See ya. See ya.